In this episode, I'm going to give a quick procrastination hack, which works when you find yourself going round and round in circles when you're online. It's easy to get trapped in a kind of procrastination loop, which usually starts with just quickly checking email, but then in the three seconds it takes to load email, you've opened up two more browser tabs to quickly check Facebook and maybe news headlines as well. And the problem is that although it doesn't take much time to check these things once, they refresh and there's always new stuff to read. So by the time you've been through everything once, you find that there's another email. After that, you check Facebook again because you see there's a new notification. Before you know it, you're watching videos of cats on YouTube and you've lost half the morning. Now, I find myself in this situation quite often and... If I try to tell myself to just work, it's really hard because my attention is all over the place. So what I have to do first is just stop. Stop all that information coming in and get to a point where I'm literally doing nothing. And then I can gather my thoughts and decide what to focus on. To do this, I use a program called Freedom, which you can find at macfreedom.com which cuts off the internet on your computer. And starting freedom is like my reset button. It disrupts the pattern of procrastination and it's an escape from that easy distraction. I still have to decide what to do, but I'm at least giving myself a chance. For me, the internet is a default habit. It's the first thing I automatically do when I sit down at a computer. And it's the first thing I automatically want to do when I don't know what to do. And that's a real problem if your work involves any kind of creativity or problem solving. So if you suffer from online pro procrastination, I recommend downloading Freedom and cutting off your internet connection. I have no affiliation with the company, I just recommend it because I use it and because without it, I wouldn't have been able to record this podcast.